I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a man. Do you understand? Half of my life is unplanned. Hello, how's everybody doing out there? Husband, father, man here with uh, this week's show. And we're going to be talking about three ways to show affection to your wife or show more affection towards your wife. And this topic came about a few months ago. Uh, I was on a, a camping ministry trip and I was talking with uh, another brother and he was talking about uh, struggling with being able to show affection towards his wife and he was saying that uh, her family is uh, pretty affectionate and everything so that made it double worse for him but at the same time I did understand where he was coming from and so then I got to thinking about it and I told him I was going to put something together to uh, kind of dig into that topic a little bit and so here it is so when you look at women and men you know we as men sometimes we forget how uh, delicate and unique women are uh, I always think of the comparison that uh, people use with comparing women to flowers because they're a thing of beauty but yet they're so fragile and for a flower to reach its full potential for it to grow and then blossom and bloom and just open up the petals and all of the beauty come out it has to be nurtured you know it has to uh, you got to make sure it gets enough sunlight enough water and just uh, whatever it may take to make sure that that flower is nurtured and it starts growing and growing and then as the stem grows up and then you have the bulb at the top and as you continue to nurture then it opens and it blossoms and so I thought about that and I said to myself, self, and self said, huh? Okay, I don't want y'all to think I'm talking to myself, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. But I thought about that and said, what would that look like in our marriages with showing affection? And so I came up with uh, three things that uh, I've used within my marriage that have, I believe, uh, allowed me to show more affection towards my wife uh, over the years and that has created uh, a wonderful uh, situation for us. And so I don't want to try to memorize everything and then uh, mess the video up. So I'm going to go to, going to go to my handy notes here. And so uh, the first one I believe is uh, getting into a romantic mindset getting into a romantic mindset when I think of romance I tend to think of uh, giving flowers and candy or a card or uh, buying that small thing that you know she's been eyeballing at the store or that big thing you know because I know some women would be like hey don't forget about that big ticket item I was looking at over there at the jewelry stores I'm just saying so you know when I think of romance I think of those kind of things because uh, you're giving gifts you're giving gifts or you're doing something that uh, it's kind of puts me in the mindset of when you're dating and you're kind of uh, just you know, just trying to woo your lady. You're trying to bring her in and uh, make this relationship the real deal. And so you do those different things. And so uh, sometimes they create that romantic mindset. You know, hey, here's a poem. Here's a flower, a card, or just something with a nice gesture to it. And so you create uh, a romantic mood. And when you do things like that, when you create a romantic mood, then normally affection comes with that. You know, normally there's, you, you give a gift and it's, hey, thank you for the flower, or thank you for the card, Mwah. There's some kissing, usually some hugging and touching and different things. You know how I go. 
you, you married, so you know how it goes and everything. But, you know, there are other things that, you know, I know some of you may think of as well. But me, myself, one that I do is, uh, I, you know, sometimes I'm sitting up and I'm listening to, you know, old songs on uh, YouTube while I'm, you know, surfing and that and different things like that. And sometimes I'll run across one of my jams and I'm just like, mm, it's time to dance. You know, the family may be sitting there hanging out, doing their own thing. My wife may be sitting on the couch and it's like I walk up, hey, bam, let's go. Time to dance. And she's like, no, boy, go on. I'm chilling like, mm, no, no, thank you, ma'am. It's time to get our groove on. You know, and so I may put on uh, some Smokey Robinson just cruising, you know, or, or some Brian McKnight back at one, or this fan fave here. You know, I don't care what nobody say, you can never front on Shalimar, so... That's just, you know, all you old school, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all feel me on that, so it's all good. These new school, they don't know what's going on with it. But, you know, I just want to throw that in there to uh, let you know how it go down. So, we, you know, put on a few of the old school jams. We dance, maybe uh, four or five songs or something like that. But what's happening in that whole time? Just the fact that I put on some music that created the situation. I didn't have to come up with anything. You put on a slow song, hey, we're going to come together. We're going to touch. You know, we're going to dance. You know, we're going to get in there, shake it up. And you know, when you're sitting there as you going back and forth, and you know how that goes some hugging and kissing and touching. Hey, once again, that's how I get out. <laughs> So, I'm just saying, I hope that you might do some of that too when you're dancing with your wife. And just a little tip, we don't wait for the kids to go to bed. No, y'all need to see mom and daddy standing here getting a groove on, showing some affection and love to one another. So, they will sit up and say to themselves, I can't wait to get married and do that with my husband or wife. So, that's number one. Get things in a romantic mindset. And, okay, and number two is creating opportunities to show affection. Creating opportunities to show affection. Um, I look at our everyday life, you know, sometimes we just go, coming and going and doing different things. And so we may sit up and say, I don't have time. Because normally a lot of times, to be honest, usually when affection is shown by us as men, Usually, you know what I'm getting at. We, you know, we looking for the later on, later on when the kids are on bed. Okay, so, but we're just looking at things to where you can create opportunities to show some affection to your lady. And once again, all we have to do is put ourselves in the right position at the right time. It's nothing where we have to say, okay, how am I going to set this up? Usually, it's right there, uh, right up under our noses, and we don't see it. So, some of the things I do is, you know, uh, kissing my wife or kissing and hugging her before I leave and when I come home. So, once again, we know we're always coming and going and everything, so you don't have to sit up and say, hmm, I think I'm going to run to the store right quick and create that situation so I can give her a kiss when I leave and then give her a kiss when I come back. Bam. Bam. No, we don't have to do all of that. Most of the time, it's just right there. We just have to take that time and that opportunity to sit up and say, hey, I'm getting ready to leave. Let me go over and, and give my baby a kiss right quick. Mm -hmm, girl, all right now. I'll see you in a little bit. See you in a little while, all right? And so, you know, that just creates, once again, an opportunity for that affection when you come back from wherever you went. You know, hug and a kiss and, you know, what you been doing while I was gone, small conversation, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you know, when I come home from work, come in kissing and hugging and, you know, once again, a small talk. Hey, how was your day? This creates opportunity for affection because when I just kissed her and gave her a hug before I let her go, I leaned back a little bit and said, how was your day, babe? 
bam. So I still got it in my arms. I'm talking to her, and if she had a rough day, mm, let me bring, mm, let me give you another kiss and bring in, look closer, let me rub her up and show her I'm there for you. That's my job. You know, that's my job to do that. What about watching a movie? Why don't you just sit up and say, hey, babe, you know, let's watch that, uh, Let's watch that new Marvels movie we've been trying to watch or whatever. So, you know, it's the weekend, you know, the kids in the bed or whatever. Or the kids might be in the other room playing the game. Who knows where they are. But you can sit up and say, hey, babe, let's sit down and watch this movie right quick. And what happens when you watch movies? Normally, you know, you're not sitting over her and she's sitting over there. Well, normally, I don't know how y'all living room is set up or whatever. But normally with us... We're sitting on the couch and, you know, we're sitting next to each other. Either she's laying on my lap or whatever, or we're sitting side by side and she's laying on me, you know, so we're kind of hugged up, you know, and that creates that opportunity just because we're there. I'm feeling good about that. And so, once again, I didn't have to create a situation. Hey, here's the movie. Put the movie in and the seating arrangement creates affection. So let's sit here. I'm hugging her. And while I'm sitting here, mm, you know what, babe? Mwah. Let me give you a kiss. I love you. Oh, did I say that? All right. Okay. So back up a little taste. But, you know, give her a kiss. You know, I'm sitting there. I'm rubbing on her arms because I enjoy that. You know, we're, I'm next to her. And so I want to let her know, hey, we're here. I'm enjoying this. You know, so I'm going to show a little bit of affection. And number three, is going to be the hardest one for the men. So uh, I know a lot of y'all going to be sitting there and you'll be like, yeah, I feel you, bro. I know where you're coming from because what you ladies have to understand is being affectionate, that doesn't come natural for men. That's not natural for us. We're, you know, we're rough. We're like wild dogs roaming the neighborhood, eating out of trash cans. And then all of a sudden you want us to come up and be lovey-dovey mm, no that doesn't go together we're gonna go you know uh, pee on a hydrant or something like that that's what wild dogs do we roll in the we roll in uh wet muddy water when it's raining outside and then we come in the house and just be like uh let me go sit on the couch we don't see anything wrong with us having no home training so showing affection and things like that that's more uh, in the area of like uh, maybe sophistication or understanding how things go in the order and time continue and all that. We don't get all of that. So it's not natural for us, ladies. So don't be too hard on your husbands. So this third one is I always tell men, don't be afraid to be frilly nilly. Let me explain what that is. Now. Me, myself, <laughs> I have a hard time, you know, sometimes being, uh, you know, being mushy. I may feel things and, you know, it just doesn't sit well. It just doesn't just roll off the tongue what I'm feeling inside and everything. And so let me just give you an example of it. Sometimes we can be sitting up. We can just be sitting there talking. And I will look at my wife and I'm just like, wow, she is really beautiful. You know, and it's not that she's dressed up or her hair is fixed up and we're getting ready to go out somewhere. It's just that at that moment when I looked at her, uh, I don't know if it's a culmination of what I'm uh, feeling at that moment and everything, but I'm like, wow, she is just beautiful. And so I could keep that to myself because see, then wouldn't nobody know and it'd be like it is what it is. I was all frilly nilly inside. But it didn't get out to the public. So, bam, I'm all good. Bam. You know, so I just keep on moving. But I feel like when I feel that way, I want to share with her. And, you know, our wives always want us to share. Share what you're feeling, what you're thinking. We're not made to share. That's not what we do. But in those times, I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling this. So I want my wife to know. At this moment, with us just sitting here, that I'm, as I'm looking at her, I think she is the most beautiful woman in the world at this moment. 
you know, that it, not saying that she's not the most beautiful woman. Don't take that out of context. What I'm saying is I want to share that moment with her is what I'm saying. And so when it comes out, it's, you know, all mushy and all this other stuff. And so I'll sit up and tell them like, babe, you know, you are really beautiful. And, you know, that that makes us vulnerable, sharing our emotions and everything. And, and you know, and so then I'll when I tell her that, I'm like, look, okay, that's enough of that frilly nilly. You know, I'll let her know, but then I'll default back to my defensive position and be like, hey, nah, hey, if you tell anybody that said that, I will deny. You know, so that's just my default position. But I'm getting better. You know, there are other situations with being uh, frilly nilly where sometimes I might just be sitting up and I'm just like, wow, I am so thankful for my wife and, you know, with how we work together with the kids and uh, how we've uh, come a long way and we've gone through a lot of mess together and, and she stood by me and I want to share that with her. You know, babe, I love you. You know, I just really feel like you're, you're the real deal. You're that woman for me. I'm so glad that uh, I believed in you and I believed in us and I put a ring on your finger and told you, till death do us part. And I love you, you know. Now, once again, most folks would be like, you know, most women at least would be like, what was wrong with that? What's the big deal? But it's just, it's too much sharing. And then, you know, I once again, I tell her, hey, I will deny it. That's just for me and you. Don't put my business in the street. But, you know, we have to get past those things. What about holding hands in public? Ah. You know, and I see that with other guys, whatever, you know, you'll be walking sometimes and like they'll be holding hands or, you know, they like to have her arm and his arm, whatever. And he walking, he trying to, you know, get his roll on, whatever. And she right there and we'll catch eye contact. It's like, this is a guy thing. I see you, dog. Do what you got to do. I feel you right now, though. I see how uncomfortable uncomfortable you are right now but you doing that for your lady you letting her feel good and feel loved at the moment so I'll even do that sometime and I'll announce it all right you know what babe I know how you feel about holding hands come on let's hold hands that's right yeah she with me you know and and I'll do it and I just roll on with it but ladies once again that, that doesn't come natural to us so cut us a little slack but also guys I want us to uh, think of how it goes within the scriptures to where uh, God said we are to love our wives as Christ loved the church. You know, women were created to crave affection. And we were created not to, you know, to feel uncomfortable giving affection. And God didn't do that by mistake. He did that because for us to show the love of Christ, we have to come out of our comfort zone and have a servant's heart to be thinking about someone else instead of ourselves or putting someone else before ourselves. And that's the design within marriage and affection and uh, for husbands to show love towards their wives. We just have to come out of that comfort zone, gentlemen, because we know at the end of the day, she's worth it. Amen? Because that's why we uh, married her. That's why we have uh, life together. We have uh, children together and, and all these different things because we feel she's worth it. So let's just put forth a little bit more effort in showing her that and some of the small things we can do to show some affection. So my brothers out there, I hope that was uh, helpful for you. Uh, and I hope you have been challenged to step forth and do some of those things today. Go dance with your woman. Tell her how much you love her. Give her a kiss before you go to the store and when you come back and hold her hand next time you're walking through the mall. I'm telling you, it will be a blessing for you and her because when she's pleased and she is full of joy, it puts a smile on your face knowing that you please the woman that you love. So, that's all I have for this edition of Husband, Father, Man. So, you have a good day, and I will catch you on the rebound. As usual, I'm out.